On the 4th of July, this mile-long shore town, halfway between New York City and Atlantic City, has a bulging population of 30,000 plus. In February, there are a little more than 3,000 people living here. I know. It's a shot of the whole crew. It's the process is part of the film. That was pretty quiet. Oh, now it is. Not the summer. Summer. Oh, yeah. In the summer, it's funny. You catch, you catch all the um, all the Guido, wannabe Guido roadheads fighting in the parking lots. Yeah, yeah that's, that's fun. Awesome. The big so guys. We should, we should be here in the summer yeah. looking on 2 a.m.? No, oh, 2 a.m. Yeah, 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 yeah. you 2 to 5, you're, you're killing it. <laughs> you want to make a documentary? You'll that's see some fucked that. up people. Hi, my name is Vincenzo Sturetti. I'm from Tom's River, New Jersey, right over the bridge. I'm Dave Siri, right my Tom's River, over the bridge. I'm Evan Berg, <laughs> Tom's River, over the bridge. AKA Lowell Berg. Nah, yeah, but that's what we do. Um, we work here all, all the time. We're always here. Cool. You'll see us in the summer. All right. And hopefully we'll see you guys again. Right on. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah, good, good to meet you guys. Yeah. Stay night. warm. Watch those shorts, man. Yeah, <laughs> this guy looks important over here. Oh, oh me? Yeah. Nah, nah. It's like you're from England or something like that. Nah, no, nah, it's the hat. Oh, it's the hat. I got it off the, the eBay. With the hat, the, yeah. the, the hair and Anybody, everything. Well, the hair is real. It's not. I just yeah. got it. Just got it yeah. But is this is someone open? Yeah, come on in. You oh, guys want a drink or what? Come on in. We'll buy you some drink. I'm Steve. Steve, how you doing? I'm Bruce. Bruce, good, good to meet you, man. I drive a truck. I'm an uh, owner-operator. I go all over. I do mostly construction work, uh, building materials and all that stuff. The flatbed, tractor trailers. Uh, I do all that. You know. I've been doing it since I was a kid. I grew up in the North. I grew up in North. Garbage trucks. And, yeah. Being a, a driver on the road a lot, what do you think of uh, Jersey drivers? I've been doing it so many years. You know what? I just let them go. Like, yeah. If you're in a hurry, you're gone. You say you work, you sit behind a desk all day, you're in that spot. Yeah. You get stressed out, bro. Yeah, oh, sure. I mean, sure. It's, you know. So, what do I do when I get off from work? I go driving. So, I see you drive for a while. Yeah. So, for your break, you should go sit behind my desk. Right. <laughs> You know, I'm a regular person. I'm no better than anybody else in life. Yeah. I, don't, I don't care if you're worth a hundred million dollars, and I got ten dollars. We're the same people. We're just that. You know, yeah. you're wealthier than I am. That's all it is. Yeah. That I know people that were handed everything to them in life. They're better than you. They're better than you. Oh, or yeah. better than me because they don't have to work for it. Oh, Daddy bought me a brand new Mercedes. Oh, that's nice. You know, I got a Volkswagen I'm paying payments on. Daddy bought you a new Mercedes. Material things don't mean nothing to me. I came into this world with nothing. When I leave, I'm, I'm leaving with nothing. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Walking around, I don't know what I expected to find here. Except for nothing. Growing up the Jersey Shore, I always felt the seasons deeply. It's unavoidable. All my friendships and then relationships were influenced by them. The people come and go. You accept the lonely times because of the anticipation of the brilliance to come. And yet, the brilliance is fleeting. And so you learn how to rationalize that you're ready for the end to come and that you even look forward to it. You develop an attraction to short-term thrills. You're not surprised when you're alone. I revel in Seaside's nothingness, in its locks and chains, in the creepy way the vacant distance makes me feel, in its participation in my waiting, in the places where others like me hold out and huddle and drink and even play. It's all so familiar and comforting. We're all unconsciously mourning in the place that makes feeling bad feel so good. <laughs> 